It's Thursday, July 16th at 1200 hours. And we're doing a shoot. We are actually doing... What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to get it to see... Oh! Four. Hey! I thought you were just being a dick. <laughs> no, I'm gonna... What do you call that? With the two sticks where you're trying to find water. Uh, dowsing? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> dowsing for camera. I, I don't think that works. I know. In either case. <laughs> it just worked! <laughs> waving this in front of the camera. Hi, Liz. <laughs> At any rate, we're doing our first CNC video with Casey. Hi! How excited are you? Very excited. Which is not to say you're slightly terrified of the cameras. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, Chris is pretty good at leading people through stuff. But today we are doing tool touch-offs, right? Uh-huh. Basically looking at that little black thing at the end there. And yeah, Does the those. little black thing have a name? It's a tool probe. Oh, yay! <laughs> Easy to remember. And the one that uh, probes the workpiece is called the work probe. Yay! <laughs> So we're working with probes today. Yes, probing so, all the things. But basically, your first video to see how comfortable you can get on camera and that. Oh, that was weird. What? Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Well, I'm setting up these cameras and I looked at them and it was like, wait, do I have the same camera on both? Because they're right next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're sticking the GoPros on the actual bed and just staring at the tool probe. Yes. And that'll be the video for the most part. Pretty It'll much. be a nice, quick, and dirty this, one. This is looking awful. So, that's nice. It doesn't look that bad. We've had it looking way worse for videos. There's a few... There's <laughs> a few streaks. Usually we don't put this much effort into the windows. <laughs> well, we're going to be but looking Casey, through the windows the entire Casey time. Casey cares about your viewing <laughs> enjoyment. Yes! Enough to wash the windows half a dozen times. That's all just coolant, isn't it? For the most part. Yeah. Coolant likes to stick to the window because it mm. likes to stick to everything. Steve asked me, like, Casey said you did something special to the windows to get them really clean. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I cleaned it like a dozen times exactly. until it until it shone. <laughs> I don't even think that was the right word to use it. You tell me. Well that's that's not god awful. So yeah. Yeah, we usually just, if we can see through it, it's probably good enough for video. Because <laughs> the GoPros aren't looking through it, they're right next to whatever's right. happening. Alright. I don't think we're shooting through this side, are we? No. I mean, you, you can totally have. keep cleaning it. I have nothing to do until 12.30. That's right, you already ate your sandwich. This be mad about BBC's reporting on new dinosaur discoveries. They found a Microraptorian. How do we spin this? Uh, Velociraptor ancestor. But they're not Velociraptor ancestors. Should, no should we just do spin-off episodes where you tear apart reporting on dinosaurs? <laughs> I don't know. Or even supplemental, like for the in-between the actual dinosaur stuff? I mean, it's better that they're reporting on them at all than not reporting on them. Yeah, but if no one tells them they're being stupid about it, then they'll never improve. But it's the BBC. So? They're not gonna listen to little old me. Yeah, but if enough people start watching your video and telling them, they're gonna get sick of hearing it. And eventually do something about it. Do you need help there? No. Okay. Anyway, we're going to be shooting on and off for quite a while today. Um, there's a big tour coming through as well, so there'll be starts and stops. But as we do stuff, you'll see it, so stay tuned. I don't know which camera I'm holding. It's not hard to check. It really is. I don't see a number. You open the case and you check. And then oh! <laughs> I don't know if you're moving around and the screen's moving around, so you're 
probably the only one. Also, it doesn't say camera off, so this is number four. <laughs> was that so hard? Yeah, did you see how hard it was to get the case open? I saw it. Shut up, Casey. <laughs> So let's have that one looking at it from the bed or table. Is it bed or table? Uh, okay. The bed is under the table. Okay. Shows how Which much it high retain. It's the weirdest dining room ever. <laughs> but you could move the food to you. You just get really sleepy after the meal. Hey, that's pretty much freaking perfect. Steve moved it. <laughs> that delay, though. Yeah, that's another drawback of these. I like that. I think we'll go with it. Yeah. I Other could than height. tilt up a little. Thank oh, God. Mm. It's like playing telephone. There you go. Yeah. As we wait for it to spasm. Okay. And then we'll put the other one on top of the vise, looking down. No! What? They changed the mode. <laughs> and then I moved it. No! It was just a series of bad things. What? There we go. Now we power down. Now we power down the camera. Okay. Yay. And now we suffer through that again. And then we probably shoot. Are you excited? Tingle with anticipation. That's not anticipation. Oh, becoming a real man. That might be it. Are you providing soundtrack for the vlog? <laughs> that or I have the soundtrack from Land Before Time in my head. Of course you do. That is an excellent soundtrack to That explains here. so much. <laughs> We're going to set up the rest of the way now. Yeah. Can I get a soundtrack from Casey? Sure. Count to ten. Count to ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Count to ten. Count to ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Tell them how you feel about those probes. Probing. <laughs> I'm going to probe you into Way better than the probe video I had to make in college. That one paid better though. Mm. It was messier. Sound check for me. That's not a sound check. It's totally no a sound one. check. Talk to Casey. No. Tell Casey how you feel about him. Please don't. <laughs> Pretend to do the initial questioning with Casey in your normal voice without corn. You're not supposed to blow into mics. Doesn't affect mm -hmm. uh, yeah. A lot of people standing around watching us. <laughs> Don't y'all got work to do? You could be picking up an AC unit. They need my sandwich. It's that first video with a blue wall, isn't it? In a while. Good for like stuff from my view. Yes. Alright. Well, I have a house painting. It's not really a painting. Uh, Steve, do you want the GoPros next to you, the iPads, or should I take one? Oh, I tie it. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. You take one and I'll take one. Okay. Actually, it's all in the other team. Give me. It's a six four. Entirely unacceptable. It's unacceptable someone's taller than Steve. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> the, I don't watch basketball. He's required to be the tallest guy in the life. 
So which part of the PC are we cutting out? <laughs> hey now. Oh my god. <laughs> Start rolling. Stop searching and just connect to the one I already found. Press boop, stop. It's the whole thing in the video. No. It's really Aren't they? They're just so intuitive and user friendly. that distance it doesn't really matter. Especially with the door closed. Yeah. These videos were kind of okay with noise when they raised Half the videos, you know, the silence is cut by the machine farting. So right. Do it once. 
with the door open so the GoPros can hear you. Welcome to the Geek Group. I'm here with our director of CNC, KC Higley. Hi. And today you're going to teach us about probing. Yeah. Now this is the first in a series of probing videos. This is on tool probes. Yes. There's also work probes. Right. That's a totally different thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as I understand it, tool probing is a way of setting offsets for the tools in this bin. Yes. And you can do this manually. Most people do. Sure. But we are blessed with the awesome Renishaw probe system, right. which is just made of nifty. 
and we get to talk about that and how it works and what it does and all that jazz. But this is everything we're doing here. You can do manually. Sure. It's just not quite as accurate, and it takes a lot longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So take us through probing. What what exactly is this? What's the, the probing system? So the probing system measures the distance from the home switch to the tool uh, very accurately using a probe on the table. Okay. And that's what the Box down there. Yeah, the little okay. black box. Um, and so, Mark! Yeah? I'm going to help him through this. Okay. I forget he's new. Yeah. You did really good the first time. You were just leaving him a lot the second time. Alright. Mark! Hi there, guys. My name is Chris Bowden, and welcome to the Geek Group. Today we are joined by Mr. Casey Higley, Director of CNC for the Geek Group. Hi. Hi. Welcome. So this is his first time, so we're going to be gentle. But what, we're talking about tool probes. Yeah. And we have this really awesome Renishaw probe system. This box here, and the sensor up there, and then yeah. there's the, the spindle unit. And what these do is allow you to accurately set your tool size for offsets there, and your work size for work offsets. You can do all of these things manually. But by using the Renishaw probe system, it lets you do it much quicker and much, much, much more accurately. So this is a really big deal, and it's one of those things that's really easy to do once you know some basics to it, but it's really easy to screw up if you don't, and there's a reason they make those little tips, so replace them. Yeah. <laughs> um, what we're going to be talking about today is the work. There's no I got it. Welcome to the Geek Group. I'm here today with Mr. Casey Higley. Hi. Hello, sir. And Casey is the director of CNC for the Geek Group, and today he's going to teach us about the Renishaw probe system and how to set up tool offsets on our big class machine, the VF2. Yeah. So, what are we doing? Teach me about probes. So, basically, the probe helps us find where the tool is. The machine doesn't know until okay. you tell it, um, or until the probe system tells it. Okay. Um, so, you can do this manually or we are lost with the Renishaw probe system. So, um, basically, I'm lost. <laughs> Sorry. Mark! It's all right, I got this. Trying. You know how they say the camera adds 10 pounds? It subtracts 50% personality. Sorry, okay. guys. When you like step forward and stand and look at him and start to talk, you cast a shadow on him a little bit. That's just my ego. Try not to step forward. Do so I wanted to take a second and just show you how involved camera work can be on a CNC shoot where all you do is bring a tool down to touch a little dingus and then you're done. We had several, six cameras plus the zoom. So we had the two GoPros inside, we had the regular Sonys, green and red were getting face shots of Chris and KC as they talk to each other so we could cut to that and make it more visually engaging. Yellow got the wide shot. The little Vario here, I think this one's Ruby. Doesn't have a label, but it's probably Ruby. Um, does nothing but point at the actual screen of the mill. That way Steve can reference it later for animation and of course zoom is sound. So. That's how much technology goes into just the shoe about work probes. And our GoPros lately seem to be failing us, as in they're just breaking. Okay. So I'm a little disappointed in that, and soon we're probably going to have to either get more or explore other options. We're not really sure, but the rest of the shoot went really well. KC warmed up to the camera and actually did amazingly well. Um, so I'm looking forward to more videos with him explaining stuff and getting more CNC videos out more regu regularly. I can't talk right now, it's lunchtime. But yeah, that was the shoot so far and let's see what else happens today. We are shooting high speed video of the probe being hit by a tool. 
Miss Elizabeth is attaching the high speed to a plate. That is the tripod. That is the operator. Yes. This screen is really messed up. It doesn't show up on video from what my five seconds has showed. Yes, ma'am. We really do need just a new vlog-ish camera. I don't like using the action Actually, camera. Actually, this angle, the probe sticks up above the, uh, the black part. What? Yeah, I guess that could work. True. Yeah. I'd rather try from the front just for the fact that it's closer first. The issue we are discussing is that shooting through the windows on the mill is streaky because coolant and the plastic or glass looking this is. Right, it's potentially streaky, depending on whether there's light reflecting off of the glass into the camera lens or not, and whether what's behind it is brighter, which it isn't, which we could maybe rectify, but we'll see what we can do. So, we still don't really have proper lights as far as high speed goes, but... We need light pretty bad, so our solution is just to shine it through the sides of the machine. Which actually lights it really well. It's just kind of stupid looking, considering they're taller than the windows of the machine. Do you think we need to, or we could just shut off the machine light? Like the yellow one? I don't remember I don't know if the color temperature is going to matter. Really matter. Probably not since it's all flickery. Yeah, we should leave it on. It actually made quite a difference. Or is that because this one's not on yet? Try Oh. Try it with it on? Yeah, we may as well leave it on. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, I can see. <laughs> yes, we can. We should probably position it. So we can actually be looking at our target. <laughs> wow, that's actually not half bad as a shot like that. I don't even know what we're set at yet. Oh, we're only at a thousand. Only. We could raise the ISL by quite a bit. It's only at a hundred. That is really pretty. We should do a shot like that. And then we'll go in for the close-up on the actual probe. I'm having a really hard time telling if I'm in focus. It looks mostly you are. there. So you have a little pre-buffer, right? We can. Yeah. Okay. So we what I would do is trigger on the first beep. Okay. Yeah, because we can go for up to 10 seconds. So. Okay. So you'll probably either get coarse or fine. Yep. Um, with that, but I would go on the first beat. Okay, we have plenty of card room too, so we can do this a couple times. <coughs> We're gonna shoot now. That's possibly the sexiest setup we've had for this camera so far. Yes, ma'am. So, we're moving over here to get a different angle because it touches off on the side of the dingus too. Can I help you? Uh, no. <laughs> so we need to get a shot where we can get the side of the dingus, dingus over there. So we're going to try it from here. And then Chris has an idea involving suction cups that makes me pretty nervous considering how expensive this was. So we're going to see. So that's actually not a bad shot. That's the result of Chris's idea. I kind of want to pan down or something. And that was his idea. To stick it to the wall. Which, you know, it's only heavier than average camera to be mounted on something with a suction cup, but whatever. <laughs> Is 
Damn it's it. not falling. These little tiny movements. Large differences. I'm happy with it if you are. Yeah. Okay. It's out of focus again. Is it? The probe is. You're good. So yeah, one last shot and then we're done for the day probably. And I'll probably put the results in the blog. We'll see. Otherwise, have a good one. Say bye. Bye.